march of time. Within the few glittering blocks of Broadway's theatrical district has centered in recent years all that mattered of the American theater. But today, from one end of the land to another, something is astir in the nation's playhouses. For the U.S. government is bringing the living stage back to hundreds of communities where no flesh and blood actor has appeared for a full generation. Scarcely a tank town across the country in the palmy days was too small to support a local opera house for theatrical troops doing one night stands. New York was then only one stop on the road where every stop meant a packed house and a great big hand. Year after year, the road went on supporting the plays it liked, old and new. Unfailing source of thrills remained the New York actresses passing through town in an aura of sinful allure. From coast to coast stretched an endless chain of vaudeville houses, forever prosperous, offering a lifetime of bookings to popular acts. Uh, hello, people! Hello, people! We just left a Broadway show! Why we were here with years ago, the big meal party! We were dancing out in front of all those dollies! You're the chance to be crazy! And we hope you behave! We will sing the songs and we will dance for you too! And we hope you like us before we get through. Well, hello, people. People, hello. All right, leader, let's go, yes, sir. gave way to the movies, and there was left nothing but the theater of Broadway, soon to crumble under the worst depression in history. <laughs> to makeshift offices at Washington, the New Deal summons director Hallie Flanagan from Vassar College's Experimental Theater, puts her in charge of a vast new federal theater project backed by $6,700,000 in government funds. Early steps in the new project's career are the free out-of-door shows on portable stages that travel to city parks and playgrounds. Old-time minstrel shows are revived for a trial. First audiences are small, on the watch for signs of New Deal boondoggling. Oh, yeah? What do you know about? I know Miss Sherwood. Better organization paves the way for better and shrewder productions. 
Out through 1,500 CCC camps go touring actors in a rough and ready comedy thriller written especially for CCC consumption. Who, me? No! Yes, I swear. <laughs> Here, have a cigarette. Young lady, you have a friend who will sing the same guitar. Gilbert and Sullivan operettas keep their drawing power. Into marionette shows crowd excited youngsters with oldsters treading on their heels, boosting the marionette into a popularity it has never known before. Among the scripts that pour in on WPA play readers, directors begin finding more and more works of merit with box office appeal. Then WPA mimeographs get busy turning out copies of a play that makes front page news across the land. In 21 cities simultaneously, WPA actors appear in a dramatization of It Can't Happen Here. Novelist Sinclair Lewis's pre-enactment of a Nazified U.S. at the mercy of sedition-hunting fascist stormtroopers. What's the trouble? We're having a book burner on the green tomorrow night. A what? Gonna burn up all this sub subversive literature. A lot of smutty stuff that's corrupt in public morals. Have you got any objections? Well, you won't find any subversive books here. Yeah. Oh. Now, how about this fella? Now, this fella, Charles Dickens, wasn't he a communist? With a startling new production of Macbeth, the Negro unit goes on tour. And I would tie the last. I have no way. Lay on, Macbeth, and then be he who first tries holding up. In Hollywood, powerful film producers like Adolf Zucker, Dean of the Mall, offer the Federal Theater friendly advice and encouragement. In the project, they see good hunting grounds for new actors, promising dramatists. As the WPA books its vaudeville units into established film theaters, many an exhibitor finds it a boon to his business. Into its second year swings the Federal Theater. On its payrolls, close to 1,500 costume and scenic designers, directors, supervisors, some 1,500 technicians of every sort. In 62 cities, about 10,000 actors are playing or rehearsing in smooth professional productions for audiences which number nearly 500,000 every week, from one end of the land to the other. But every week, more and more WPAites are reclaimed by private producers as time steadily improved, the show business in the vanguard. Extra, extra, understand going into show business. Read all about it. Extra, 